Hello and welcome to the Daily Devotion here at Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm Vicar Goodroad. Our reading today comes from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. This is the epistle reading for the festival of St. Philip and St. James, apostles. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone, in whom the whole structure, being joined together, grows into a holy temple in the Lord. In him you are also being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today I'm going to do a a little bit of a different format than typically, than what I typically do. Uh, I want you to open your Bibles or open up a web page to whatever Bible site you like to use and go to Ephesians chapter 2 verses 19 through 22 and read along with me a little bit while we discuss each verse individually. First, we're going to take a look at verse 19. So then, you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Paul is writing this letter at a time where membership in a group is everything. You know, whether you were uh, a citizen of the Roman Empire or whether you were Greek, whether you were a Jew or a Samaritan or an Egyptian or, or whatever it was, your membership in your group was everything. And it was really hard to cross those boundaries. You can read all about this in the book of Acts, for example, where a centurion comes to Peter and says, I know I'm not supposed to be talking with you, but listen, the Lord gave me a vision. And then Peter goes and he preaches a sermon to this centurion, and he has to constantly justify this to all of his fellow apostles and and brothers in Christ, saying, listen, God gave me a vision that I was to go and preach to this man. That's why I did this. God told me to do this because it just wasn't normal. That, that type of thing didn't happen. There were boundaries everywhere. So now here, Paul is saying, you're no longer strangers and aliens, but you're fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. We're all one in Christ Jesus. We all have membership with him. We're all going to receive that that same salvation at the end. We're all one in Christ. So don't act like strangers or, or aliens or an unwanted guest or unwanted stranger. We're all brothers and sisters in Christ. Act like it. We continue on to verse 20. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. We're built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets. This is all of the teachings that they have given us. All of the apostles, after they listened to the teachings of Christ, the the ministry of Christ, uh, they went out and they spread the word. They taught the same thing that Jesus Christ was teaching. They spread his word, his gospel to the world. That's, That's what we are being built into. We're built on that foundation of the apostles and the prophets, the prophets who prophesied about Christ for thousands of years. Throughout the whole Old Testament, they prophesied and prophesied. They delivered that word of God to their people over and over and over. And so now, we are built on that foundation. But wait, what's that foundation built on? Well, Christ Jesus himself being the cornerstone. The apostles, the prophets, they didn't just make this stuff up. They didn't just pull the the word of God out of thin air. No, it was given to them by God. All of their teachings, everything that they had to share with us, the word of God is all based on the cornerstone of Jesus Christ. That's the important part. When we reference the the apostles and, and the disciples and all of church history and everything like that, outside of the word of God, They're just getting that from Jesus Christ. They're just teaching that to us from Jesus. That's what they receive from Jesus. That's what they're giving to us. Continuing to verse 21. In whom the whole structure being joined together grows into a holy temple in the Lord. 
all of this, all of the church, Christendom at large, is all built together in Jesus Christ, in a holy temple. What do you do at a holy temple? You worship God. That's where you go to receive the gifts of God. God promises that you are a citizen of his household, that he gives you his gifts. That's where he gives it to you, in the church. So we are being built together in order to receive everything from God because that's who we rely on. God is the head of our household. He's the head of our church. Everything is based off of his word, everything that he tells us. Man does not live on bread alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Continuing to verse 22, in him you also are being built together into a dwelling place for God by the Spirit. God gives you his Spirit in baptism. He places his seal upon you. He makes you a member of his household in baptism. And he continues to uh, make you holy and make you more fit for himself as a dwelling place across your entire life through a process called sanctification where continually you are transformed by the word of God. You listen to the word of God and you let it do its work. You hear what it says and you continually just try to do better, knowing all along that it's not your own efforts that save you. It's not your own efforts that make you better. It's God. God does the work. It begins with God in baptism and it ends with God in baptism. That's where it all comes from. It comes from the gifts of God, everything that he gives to you. That's what it's all about, my friends. It's all about Jesus. He is the cornerstone upon which we build our faith. He is the one that gives us that faith, that sustains that faith, and that, on the last day, will bring us home because of that faith. In the name of Jesus, amen.